citizen comments regarding proposed tax rate for the year 2014. Uh, in our budget, we're staying the same at 56. Turner can uh, Southampton contribute a little bit more to help us. That's our plan, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, the contingency fund as of October the 1st was $2,574,741. And then we did a budget amendment of $13,548, so the contingency is $2,561,193. That's as of today? Um, yes, sir, that was as of. Mm -hmm. That's before this proposed budget was okay. done. That was. Now, how did you arrive at that using the adopted budget of 2014? This, this is what's in GSA as of today. That's what's in, in, our, in our financial software on that line item in the general fund. Well, that's what you have in the line item, but mm -hmm. that was just a budgeted number. That's not even near what the contingency reserve is. Okay. So it wasn't up to date as of the end of the fiscal year before you a, left? A, it, all you did was you're looking at budgeted figures, which were a calculation that we arrived at in 2013, before even 2013 was closed. And so you used the same budgeted figure Without oh, yeah. oh, okay. Yeah. So it wasn't updated as you left in January? No. You don't have to update budget reserve, contingency reserve. You update the available funds. Okay. So can you tell me what it is then? Well, you have the figure. You're supposed to figure that. I'm not okay. trying to be ugly. Oh, okay. Well, but I just thought you, it was up to date as when you left. No, you're looking again. If I look at the budget, I mean the proposed budget, which is what you were working on. Mm -hmm. Let me go to that. You had a, a, a amended or adopted 2014 budget. Continues to reserve of two million five sixty one. Uh, one ninety three fifty six. Now that was just a calculation back over a year ago is what we anticipated the reserve to be. Okay. Now, uh, if you look at the numbers as well, you said that the 2,561,000 contingency reserve for adopted uh, budget 2014 was 2,500,000 and that you anticipated 271,000 uh, decrease in that contingency reserve. Correct. Yet, but you show in your proposed budget for this year, for 2015, the same number. That's how much we're going to take out of our contingency to balance the budget. But what I'm getting at, if you look at your proposed budget, you sent to the uh, public. Mm -hmm. Correct. It says the adopted budget was 2,561,193.56. Then when you look at the proposed budget for 2015, you got 2,561,193.56, the same number. Yet you're telling the public you have a $271,000 deficit. So that number should basically go down. It did go down in the proposed budget, didn't it? It didn't go down in the proposed budget. Of oh, the contingency line item is what you're saying? Right. Okay. Well, it did go down in, proposed, in the budget we filed for 2015 because we're down to 200 and 
forty something. I mean, two million two hundred and forty or something two like. Two is what I was thinking. Yeah, I mean that's what we're working but with. This is the proposed budget that you sent to the public doesn't say that. You have a note or a comment in the cover page that the uh, contingency reserve went down two hundred twenty one thousand. And that'd be taken off for two hundred and two million two million five sixty one. Right. Yeah. Now. The other thing that you have to take in consideration is you have to review what our true available funds are. Now, if the way you arrive at that is you look at the, nine, uh, the 2013 audited financial statements, and it showed that we had a 4,216,000 contingency reserve plus a uh, an additional 59000 that we're going to transfer from the road and bridge. And we made that transfer. Made that transfer. So that means your contingency reserve is $4,240,000 something thousand dollars or 60 something thousand. Now wait a minute, say that again. Your contingency reserve at the beginning of 2014 is $4,270,000, give or take. Instead of two million five sixty one. That's correct. That's according to the audit. That's according to the audit. Okay, but now, are, but are all, are some of those funds are dedicated? Is that right? No, sir. Absolutely not. All those funds are available. They all are available. Where are they? My question, because the cash report doesn't indicate anything close. Well, you, you have other things besides cash. You have receivables and so forth that are part of your contingency reserve. If you look at your audit report, one of the requirements in the financial statement is that if you have a budgetary accounting system and you are wanting to be on a gap, you have to have a reconciliation. And therefore you must start with your budgetary figures. And based upon the year end audit of September 30th, the budgetary fund balance at the end of the year was $4,216,431. Those are audited numbers. Those what, are what audit year are you looking at, Larry? He's well, looking at yeah, he's looking at our latest audit. All right. Did you look at audit year 2012 at all? What What did they show our fund balance in 2012? Well, I, I've, I've got a copy. If I have a, if somebody would give me. Do you think it was that high? Four million. Yeah. Yes. Why didn't you use it in our on our budget when you were here then? Which is what you're saying we're not doing. Cause we it's, we did. But then four we million. I don't never remember four we million. Use three million. Okay, let's, let's go to my budget that I prepared the year before. We use three million and something, as I remember. The ending balance. Was it that high? I, and it might have been. I don't remember a four million figure. At though. the ending balance of 2012, we were. We used three million and something, if I remember. At the beginning of 2013, which is the end of 2012, right. we said the beginning of the actual was 4,244,000. Okay, what did we project the ending balance to be at the end of 2013? Projected at the end of 2013? Three million five hundred thirty-three thousand. Because we anticipated we we're going to tap into it by seven hundred and eleven thousand dollars. Okay. My my point, I guess, Larry, is since I've been sitting on the court, I don't ever remember us having a four million dollar figure in contingencies. In fact, I remember each year it going down because we had to dip into the contingency. So, if if this current auditor is using a formula, where it's based on estimates, then I assume that you were doing the same thing when you were here. Is that not correct? We were using estimates for the year in which we were operating under, meaning that 
2014 is an estimated figure as right. far as what the ending figure is. But we still had more in contingency than what we were using as an estimate, correct? Not with the starting point. The starting point was an actual figure, and you must use an actual figure. Well, let me ask you this. Your, your point today, and, and you're a taxpaying citizen of Hardin County, your point today is that should we use four million as our as our figure or do like you did and use a lesser amount, uh, estimation? No, you, you should, uh, what we basically always do is that we take the actual, for the 2013, which is 4,270,000. Uh, then we project out what we think is gonna be depleted. And so that means that we have projected for 2014 It'd be like around three million one hundred and something thousand. We, we were projecting that we were going to uh, spend a million four, uh, forty three thousand of our contingency. So we, when we did that, we figured that since we estimated the twenty thirteen to be down to three million five thirty three, that's all we could go on without an estimate. But it didn't end up there. But it didn't end up there. It ended up at four million two hundred. Yeah, see, I, I remember sitting right here at this desk when we made those projections, and and I, I don't know all the ins and outs of the calculation, but I said I did not believe our contingency would be down that low. But based and, and on the audit, projections, well, but the audit proved it wasn't that low. But only to the tune of four hundred, I mean, eight hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah. Now. But you, you have to money. revise each year. Um, yeah. Well, I, I guess with all this said, what the challenge is, is to get to what the actual, we know what the actual was at the end of the 213. That's correct. You always must use what's going on. Okay, because that's an audit, but that, that's audited. That's correct. And we've accepted audit. Now the challenge is, is what is it at the end of 2014, which we still have two months to go? And that's the one that we always estimate. That's what yeah. we have to go in and uh, determine whether or not our revenues are going to be what we had budgeted yeah. or appropriated yeah. and whether our expenditure is going to be. Yeah. Now, the reason that number changes all the time is because a lot of people do not spend their total appropriation. And so that gets you a, an increase in that contingency reserve. And in but the, those funds are, because those funds are basically in road and bridge, that's where those funds have been, because we have carried over for projects. No, no, it has nothing to do with the road and bridge. For, for Your carryover was not considered in that. Carryover was not considered? No, I mean, you, you had 4200 in just the general fund. You had 935000 in the, in the road and bridge, which, which you're carrying over. So you ignore that, that you're carrying it over. Okay. So that figure keeps having to be calculated year after year. Okay, but now in that contingency, do we have some questionable or funds that are in suspense with FEMA? Not supposed to. Okay. Unless but that they disallow a valid expenditure. Well, but you remember the audit that you and I set with the FEMA people, I mean, you know, through the deal, and they've come back and we're visiting with them again. They're doing an audit right now. Yeah, they're, they're dealing with I, not with Rita. Yeah, but I mean with I. But what I'm saying is, in these, in this contingency, is the funds that they're questioning, or there, is that cash in there? Yes. <coughs> so that's a possible $600,000. What, what $600,000 I'm not familiar with? Uh, the, the, is, the invoices that they're questioning. Well, I think, what, what did uh, the man we met with here, he, something maybe three seventy five dollars or something mm -hmm. like that? $375,000, right? But okay. again, uh, to me, I'm still saying to you that that is a valid expenditure. That y'all need to fight that to the end. Well, we, we, we are fighting, and we've got the state people, but, you know, at some point, we have to uh, 
be able to prove that it is valid. And I mean, they've got all the boxes. Angela and I met with them, and you know, you and I met with them a time or so. Yeah, we, we've been met, met, you know. But those funds are in the con in the contingency. That's right, because I consider those a valid expenditure. Okay, but what I'm saying is, in case they don't accept that they're valid, and we would lose that 400, we have to keep that amount of money in mind. That's correct. That would be part of your contingency. Yeah, that's part of the contingency, but we have to keep that in mind. Yeah. That's right. So your point today, Larry, is instead of 2561, we should indicate 2291, deducting the 271 we're taking out of. Well, I, I just think you... Uh, what was your point? Well, I was just trying to relate to you that the contingency reserve is not the number you're dealing with. I mean, you, you need to have some valid numbers to work with in order to make some decisions here. And now, you've got 4270000 beginning contingency reserve. That was at the beginning of the... Uh, uh, 2014. Okay. That's a valid number. And that includes this 400000 or so in suspense. That's correct. Yeah, okay. Then so. you need to uh, subtract out what you think your deficit spending is going to be for 2014. 2014, 2015. No, 2013, 2014. One that you're in right now. Well, that was going to be something like $700,000, wasn't it? Well, uh, let me look and see what we projected it out. It was see. budgeted 953. Huh? It was budgeted nine, about 953. From, okay. From this current budget right now? Right. Yeah. Okay, well then that's... Basically, as you all had, we had budgeted... Nine hundred fifty-eight thousand deficit spending. Okay, so that's two. That's one. That's three. So that gets it down to three, three million three hundred twelve thousand dollars. Now you're saying that's the figure we should should start working with for two thousand fifteen. So you're getting you're getting that four point two minus the the nine fifty eight. Yeah. Okay. And then right. how much how much do we have in the uh, fourteen fifteen budget? You have a two hundred seventy-one thousand dollar deficit. We're gonna read, uh, okay, you that got two hundred seventy-one thousand. And I'm dealing with round numbers here. Yeah, I'm, I'm dealing with round numbers. So three million. So that brings it down to three million forty-one thousand. And if you keep in mind that suspense, which you know, I'm, I'm like you, I think we'll end up in the good. In the good, and he indicated he was going to try to help us all he could. But at the final day, you, you know, if the feds say you owe it, well, you know, you're going to. So that takes it down to two six forty one. That's counting if you lose the four hundred. That's count, yeah. But you, yeah, that's suspense. I mean, right. the money's there now. Correct. And, uh, but but if but you, I, I think you've got since it's being contested by the federal government. I think you know they're they're alleging that we owe them what about three seventy five. Okay. Let me ask you something, Larry, and you're very good with numbers. I mean, that's what your specialty is. And you said deficit spending. The way I look at it, and I might be wrong, but I'm basically asking your opinion. Once we get to our bottom number, we're $271,000 off of what we have available. Because we have money in contingencies, how is that deficit? It would be deficit if we didn't have that money available. Well, deficit, deficit, not debt. Part of the fiscal year. It's not debt. It's deficit. It's not debt. It's just deficit. Okay, so, well, this is something we're going to need to work on because we may, in fact, have another $271,000 available funds to us. One thing, Ken, and, I, and it bothers me on it is that we're talking about the cash and receivables. And my concern is what receivables, I know that there's probably some entries in there to take care of uh, uh, uncollected taxes. Uh, but I, I don't know what kind of percentage we're collecting off of those and how that's calculated. Well, the uncollected taxes have nothing to do with That's what I say, that, that's not a receivable. No, that's not a receivable. No, that's not okay, what are the receivables then? You've got... Uh, grants. Grants constantly. Yeah. You, you have to pay for your expenditures of the grants before you get the money back. But those are washes. Those are washes, but they're yeah. still cash. Yeah, but, but and they affect your cash flow. That's right. But as far as your budget, those are washes. 
It's still, yeah, they're offset. You make an entry on one side of the journal and you put it on the other. You know, you're offsetting entries there. Yeah, I mean, it's a receivable yeah. instead of cash. Yeah. So why is the two point five million budgeted in GSA then? What's the purpose in having it in there? It was in the budget of twenty fourteen, mm -hmm. not twenty fifteen. Right, but what was the purpose in that if that's not what was that's the calculated what it was going to be based upon the same formula we just used with Ken Pell. So you did think that it was two point five at one time? That's correct. We have no way to know until we know what the outcome is for the fiscal year. In 2013, we anticipated spending about $958,000, more than what our revenue was. But as it turned out, we had $450,000 in excess. So right there was, alone was a uh, million three windfall, so to speak. But you're close anyway with your figures to 2.6. Yeah. Something and that's taking that, and that's putting that 400,000 in suspense. Yeah. The whole amount of it. Right. I mean, so we're there, really. 100,000. No. Yeah. I mean, we're there. Yeah. And uh, so we're talking the same numbers. I mean, really. You know the. Well, we probably do. With I think, the final figures we had here in budget, didn't we think we'd pull down to about two point. Two five or something like that. Right. When in fact we probably have not pulled down that much. About two point four, probably. Yeah, two point five, two point something, something like that. So when you figured if you had pulled it down to two point two, you weren't considering the four hundred thousand. No. So if you had considered the four hundred thousand, that would have, you would have in effect pulled it down to one point eight million. Well, but the 2.6 was considering the four. Yeah, the 2.6 was considering the four. So yeah, so so we are considering it. Yeah. When you 1.8 versus 2.6. Yeah. Now we're both at the 2.6 or 2.5, where we were just talking about. I don't, I don't understand. If you have, if you said in your workshop that you brought it down at 2.2 million, you weren't considering the 400,000. Yeah, yeah, because we started off of your number, you left at 2.5, which the 400,000 is considering that because we're deriving that off of 3.3. .3. No, I think that you're putting 400,000 into one equation and not on the other. We've got another public here. Yeah, I think we're saying the same thing. Okay. I mean, honestly. Yeah. All right, this agenda says citizens' comments on regarding proposed tax rate for the year 2014. Are you against the tax rate? I'm just wanting to know what is your... Are you against the tax rate? Because that's what's on the agenda. We ain't here to discuss all that up. Well, I think I, I think the point's well taken. That, well, it's well you know, taken, but, yeah, but that, we... That we, we, we do need to look, but we've probably rate. got more money than what we think we've yeah. got. Yeah. We're, we're supposed to talk about the tax yeah. rate. But a tax rate based, is based upon what you think the proposed budget's going to be as well. Yeah. You've done a good job. But we we got another hearing, Judge, don't we? Yeah, we do. I, I need a motion to adjourn. So, so moved. Second. 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 We stand adjourned. Uh, okay, now let's go to this is a, a meeting concerning the uh, citizens regarding renewing a reinvestment zone of Southampton Resources Inc. property for a tax abatement of proposed improvements. We have Turner Evans here with Southampton. Yes. And he's going to give us a wonderful speech on how much money they're going to bring in and all that. Well, I surely can try. Southampton, real quickly, uh, we're going through a, uh, trying to do a $30 million expansion, Detroit expansion. Uh, the uh, last expansion was 2008, and uh, we're just less than a little Southampton all over the world, including uh, our customer up in Canada. It was built and, uh, and it wants more product. In order to meet that demand, uh, we have to expand. Uh, it's going to mean 15 permanent jobs, probably around 100 to 120 temporary construction jobs. Uh, payroll will increase by about $1.2 million. Uh, tax abatement and reinvestment zone helps us considerably. Uh, even though we make a thirty million dollar expansion uh, investment, we don't get that money back. It takes us quite a while to pay that back. Uh, 
just feedstock alone is going to be an increase of $400,000 a day. So uh, tax abatements and reinvestment zones help us to reinvest in, uh, in our business. Sounds pretty good to me. Sounds great. We certainly appreciate all that Southampton yeah. helps with in Hardin County and major employer and uh, everybody I meet who works out there is always happy. So appreciate y'all. Any other comment? We adjourn. Thank you. We stand adjourned. Here before we start oh, yeah. the regular meeting, Judge. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Okay.